The following program is TVMA. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, folks, this is my first one in a while. Let's jump right into it. What's up guys, this is Cody D and this is my first Cody D vlog in a long time and um this and this one is an actual vlog this time despite the other cr crap that I've posted up in the past. Um but um I'm just gonna jump right into things. This is basically me ranting ranting about a, a whole bunch of stuff. That's there's gonna be some stuff that I will talk about in this video that is that is related to actual events that are going on, right? If it's personal or nationwide. So just let you so I'm just let you know now, disclaimer, I might step on a lot of toes. So if you think that I'm gonna be talking about you in this video, you may want to go away about right now. <laughs> I give you a little bit of time to think about it. Still here? Great. Then let's begin. In no particular order, <laughs> What in the hell is up with this clown bullshit? I this time, bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I just gotta say this. Like, the first time I heard something about it was earlier this year. Then it went away for a while, then it came back, and then it went away for a while. Now, it get, but now it gets to September and now October, and, it res and it's resurf resurfacing hard as hell. Gee. I wonder if this has to do anything with the fact that Halloween is coming up. Hmm, I like to think so. But I guarantee freaking to you, the very moment that October is gone, that's when all this clown stuff is gone. Gee, how do I know that? Oh yeah, that's the same way that they treated this whole Ebola story. Huh, remember when Ebola came into the United it came into the United States or whatever and it's and it was a huge big big new thing that was going on, but then but then but then it went away for a while. Oh yeah. For those of you who don't know, Ebola was in the United States well before, you know, recently. So what so what's so new about it? Just saying. <laughs> But this whole this whole clown thing, I guess, is like clowns show up and they terrorize people. They're supposed to be killing people and all this other stuff. And then, you see, and, and see this whole epidemic here. You wonder why people don't go to circuses anymore. That's costing people. That's that's costing people like Ringling Brothers and Byron and Bailey a lot of money because of, because of this crap that's going on or whatever. But don't take my word for it. Next. This whole political crap that's been going on as of late, like something that something that my homeboy um, Matthew Mayfield said. Shout out to Matt if you're watching. Um, you shouldn't have to be forced to vote for, vote for whoever you want to vote for if you're voting. Now, normally, I would say, you know, your vote counts. Go out, go vote, and all this other stuff like that because. You know, throughout you know throughout the years, I I highly encourage voting because I because I think that's very important. Just like j j just like you vote for who your class president is, or you vote for who your next American Idol is, even though the show is no longer on the air, or you, or you vote for who the next voice is on the Voice. But in this particular case, I would I, I would not encourage voting. <laughs> I know, and I know y'all gonna look at me like. Oh well, Coley D is a veteran. Why would he say that? Simple. Well, simply this: all candidates are crap. I have to. I hate to say it, but all candidates are crap. Hillary is crap, and she and she's a Democrat. <laughs> Hillary is crap. Bernie Sanders, to an extent, is crap. And Trump, need I say more? 
he knows he's not he know, he knows nothing about politics yet. Yet, yet y'all think some of y'all who are watching this video are is strongly thinking about voting for him. And I know I'm gonna get some negative comments in the comment section below. Wink, wink. <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm ready I'm ready for it because I know that. So, but some of y'all Trump fanboys are just gonna be like, oh well. Trump's gonna make America great again. Oh, how? By 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 kicking out everyone who's not technically an American. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> I don't give a crap. People from all over the world, just near about, come here to America because they think America is a greater opportunity. You know, I would rather. I personally. The way that America is going right now, I would rather be in Canada or the UK, London preferably. Shout out to all my UK friends out there, or or Australia. Shout out to all my Australian fan, fans who are who are watching and whatnot. So, oh yeah, oh, guys, y'all could out shout out to Canada too, because because yeah, I do got some Canada friend, Canadian friends as well. But um, anyway. This whole this whole election thing, I just can't wait till it's over. I just want to see who wins and and and, and uh, if I have to pack my bags or not. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, so 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 if you so if you see me in a complete whole different setting other than the U.S. within the next oh six months to a year, you know why. I'm just saying. Anyway, now. Another next issue. Now, um, there's a personal gripe that I have with when it when when it comes to um when when it comes to the good guys. Us good guys do everything positive to try to make try to to, to try to make things right. Rather rather if at rather if we make a fuck up. Or if, or or if you know someone that does a fuck up, but the, but 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 the other person is like giving them a chance, if that makes sense. Um, my thing, my thing is this: if you have done like if you created a if you created a huge blunder and you try to correct it to the best of your ability. To 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 the height to the highest point of your um to the highest point of your ladder and you can't go no more like literally you cannot create no more steps to climb to 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 to, to climb the stairwell because you ran out of mortar but yet <clears throat> but yet they are still asking you to do. A whole bunch of stuff like jump through hoops and all this other crap, and they ask and, and they're asking your friends to do a whole lot of stuff. That's too much. A positive guy can only do but so much. <coughs> like that. That's enough. That's enough to make you want to stop. Stop doing what you're doing. And the person and the person who is harassing you, you had to go go where they're at, right? If they're locally or or, or way across the country, or wherever they're at, fly to where they're at and knock them the fuck out, just so you can get that satisfaction. Don't worry, I'll wait, because I know a whole lot of people can relate to me to this very to this very topic that I'm talking about here. I mean, it's just too much. Another thing. When is it okay in the right mind to kick a guy to kick a guy when he's already down? Seriously. Like I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to be transparent about myself for a second. And and this disclaimer, yes, I will be putting out some of my personal business out there. Do do I care? Do, 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 I, do I care if people ask me why am I putting this out there or whatever? No. 
because because I feel because I feel like in order for me in order to get my point across to to people because they because they might be going through something similar to that then I'm gonna have to get transparent about myself so Guys, watch out guys and gals, watch out for scams, watch out watch out for different types of, you know, phony malicious crap that's been going on lately. Because because you never know what you might end up getting yourself into. Prime example. I was recently involved in a scam that dealt with um flipping money. Now, 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 is it now, now, now is it legal? Absolutely no way. However, however, people do this do this type of stuff on social media. The more the, the more popular outlet as of late, Instagram. Now, there are pe- now there are people that will tell you, okay, you give them a hundred dollars, you get a thousand dollars, and so on and so forth, and. Long story and long story short, I gave it a shot, and it failed miserably. I do mean miserably. Not only not only they got me not only they got me for the money that I sent them, but that but they never sent me the money back. Now, for those of you who are wondering how much money I sent, it's none of your business. Aha, uh-huh, that was gonna take. I told you I'm gonna be transparent by myself, but I'm not gonna get in depth. Just saying. <laughs> but um, the and then this is where strike two and no more is coming in. <clears throat> I got involved. Well, I've been some. I guess you could say somewhat of a victim of, of another scam. So. Somebody, I, d- I decided to try something of a similar note, and only this time it was it, it was through my financial institution. Oh, huge mistake, Coley! You shouldn't have done that. You you know you you know what kind of information could be compromised and blah 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 blah. Well, yeah, I do know that. But at the same time, I figured that if I did take the chance, it would not only help me out, but the people in my circle out, and it would help my family out, being that, being that my family needs help right now. You know what I'm saying? But what, what, but, but that's the risk you take. It's like rolling the dice in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like you roll, like you roll the dice on a crap table, hoping you roll a seven or eleven, but you end up rolling snake eyes. Just saying. But, but I guess I got out of money, but I ended up getting something that's sort of better than money because as of right, because as of this video, I'm, I'm record, I'm recording, I'm recording this video on a MacBook Pro. Oh, Coley, how did you get a MacBook Pro? Those cost over a thousand dollars. Well, the per, what the person that is involved in this second scam, um, they ha- they had a client to um s- send this particular computer to me, and originally they were supposed to send some phones too, but the phones got canceled via UPS or whatnot. But you know what I'm saying? But they sent this laptop, so I was supposed to be sending this laptop and phones over to this per t- over to this person or whatnot. So they can handle, so they can do what you call a barter and trade, and handle whatever situations that they have, because apparently they're being scammed as well, which I don't buy that for a second. But I see that in this case, since I've been scammed, this this laptop equals, if not betters, the amount that. I was compromised of so hey if you're watching thanks 
Cause you ain't getting this buddy back. No. Mm -mm. Nah. Nuh-uh. That it that is oh this this laptop right here over a uh, over a thousand oh over eleven hundred dollars value for free. And I don't and, and I'm not giving it back. Nope. No, actually giving it back. No, it's like me sending it back to the person who you know gave it to me, right? So yeah, they sent it to me, but both parties literally scammed me, so this will make up so this will make up for my losses, so I'm in the clear. Just saying. Gotta learn your facts, people. Gotta learn your facts. But yeah, um on a lighter note for those of you have, that have been watching my channel, um, I have been, I have been, I have posted up uh, Tube Tales American Idol. I posted up a preview of it. Uh, now I know it's, I think it's like close to like thirty minutes long or something like that, or twenty five minutes long somewhere in there. But that's the, but but that's the big project that I'm working on right now. Um, it, it still, it still isn't finished. However, I have been making a lot of progress since I had this MacBook Pro. So I so I so I think I'm doing a damn good job. Being 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 that being that I go into the library and down downloading the stuff that I can download and uh and and, to, and, and today I'm in Dy Dynasty Networks Network Studios as of this um tape date. You know you know you know shout you know shout out to LG if he's watching. But um he he he's he's on um, letting me on um, chilling his studio for the day you know doing what I can and shit like that and you know collab ideas and that's another thing that's another thing people need to put aside differences right people need to put aside differences to make awesome content real spill like. Put your pride aside for a second and think about this. <clears throat> now, this goes for anybody. I don't care if you're, a, I don't care if you're a music producer or a singer or a videographer or if you take pictures. Whatever your craft may be, even athletic crafts. If we got all these God-given gifts. And we use them on a daily basis. Why are we this? Why are we hating on each other? Why are we disliking each other? Why are we being jealous of each other? I don't know where. In, I don't know where in the Bible it says, or whatever, because I'm not because I'm not a he, because I'm not a heavy Bible reader or whatever. Being real, but I know, but I know somewhere in there it says something about hat. Having an envious or a je or a jealous spirit is a sin. And yes, and yes, I know there are some times where we are jealous for like you know like 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 little small things, but you know it 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 comes and it goes or whatever. But if you just like hardcore jealous of somebody or whatever to the point to where you don't like them and stuff like that, then there's something wrong there. Like seriously, that's really something wrong with that, and you and you got to and, and, and you got to keep in mind that you know having a jealous having a jealous spirit is going to sit here and hinder you from your blessings later on down the line. That's why me. That's that, that's why me being humble at times can be diff, can be difficult as hell because of the fact that. Because of the fact that I have a whole lot of people who are jealous of me, I got a, I, I got a whole lot of people who is I got people right now who is trying to take me off of social media for that for their own personal reasons. But am I going anywhere? Nope. And I'm not even and I'm not even thinking about going anywhere because I know because I know that some that that if I if my YouTube channel does get taken down or some of my videos do get taken down. Or if, or if my Facebook by some magic does get taken down, only on thing I'm gonna do is create another one and be like, "Oh, here I am again." So there's no way you can get rid of me. And then outside of the internet, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get my craft out there. I'm going to different TV stations. I'm going, 
uh, so, soon I'm gonna be going to radio stations and try to get my craft and try to get my stuff out there too. Not only my craft, but the people around in my circle. That is Poly D Studios, WBE, Dynasty, of which Dynasty is doing something kind of big right now. Just saying. But I'm a bomb 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 let LG explain that in a future video on his channel. So you know I don't want to you know put any spoiler alerts out there. But you know, <laughs> but um, like the like fire 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 clan. Yeah yeah that yeah yeah that yeah that yeah that's about to be on the rise or whatever. Again, no spoiler alerts on that either. But fire fan clans might get ready to come back up as well. Like. I see a whole like I see a whole lot of people that are doing big things. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, my whole my, my whole entire circle is doing big things, but we need to get ourselves out there. Dave Dave and goes for SCME Works, cruise ships, enterprises, freaking. I hope I said that right. By the way, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Matt, I mean Mayfield Entertainment, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's doing their damn thing, but we need to get our shit out there. Seriously. Seriously. So but yeah, that's about all I have for right now. Um I know this is my first vlog in a long time, but you know, hey. Um then the, um, the next vlog that I do hopefully won't be as lengthy as this. It'll be more like of a update or 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 hello, how you doing or whatever the case, alright? But um, soon, soon I hope I could be able to do some giveaways and stuff like that. But I got, but I got to get myself right first. All right. Let's start. I'll let you know that up front because I know, because I, I know sometimes things won't, you know, things won't <coughs> be right if I'm able to help others out. But I can't help myself out. You know what I'm saying? So. It's a two-way street, guys. But that's all I have for today. Um, I'm supposed to be doing some filming later on today at, at five o'clock, as of this up, uh, as of this um tape day for the Cody D report. Which, by the way, if you got any ideas for that, please uh, hit me up in the comments comment section below, and I'll put it out there. I am the type of guy that do press the red button. Yes, I press the red button. I go there. So. Feel free, please. Let me know what y'all what y'all want me to talk about, or even explore, or discuss, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Bye. I'm out of here. Till next vlog. Peace.